Today I'll be demonstrating Boov's Discord bot feature in version 1.2.0. To start the bot, all you need is your Discord bot token, which is free as you already have a Discord account. Once the token is entered, you can press the start button and the bot will start up. Once started, you will see the bot's avatar, username, and its tag. You can also update its activity in real time, as you can see here. Moving on, we have the bot optimization switch here, which makes sure your bot stays connected, even when you have bad internet connection. It's better to keep it enabled when the bot is running to make sure the bot stays online. The prefix is F by default. Upon typing F info in chat, the bot will respond with default information stating commands and their usage. The command FAV followed by mentioning a user will display their avatar as you can see here. If you don't mention someone after the command, the bot will let you know the command usage. The command FIQ followed by mentioning a user will tell you their IQ as a source of fun. The command F meme will show you the latest memes from Reddit in your Discord server. As you can see here, it is what it is. The command F-U-T-H followed by mentioning user will tell you the truth about them. The command F who BTR followed by mentioning two users will tell you which one is better and which one is not. The command FKILL will use random objects and animals to eliminate a user as a joke. To stop the bot, you deactivate the optimization switch and then press quit. You can also change the command suffix here if you don't like the default suffix. Once done, you can start the bot and make sure the optimization switch is enabled for better functionality. Now if you type the fInfo command, you will see the custom commands that you've just set in app. Now if you type the new command like fm, you will see it work seamlessly. Now if you type the troll kill command that is fkl followed by mentioning user, you will see that it still works. Same for the avatar command which was FAV, but is now theft. And guess what? I'm not even done yet. For this feature, all you need is a channel ID from the Discord server in which the bot is. And then you paste the channel ID here and press the save button which will then search for the channel. Once successful, you will see the channel's name on top. Once all this is done, you will be able to send messages to this channel via Discord bot using the app which will leave some users confused. You can also send emojis if you know what to type. In my case, it is Rofl. And I'm still not finished. If you stop the bot, then copy a user's ID, and then head back to app and click this little button, you will be able to set higher standards for users in bot's perspective. Just paste their ID here, click save, and start the bot. Now if you type the troll kill command and try to use it on that user which is in the user's immunity list, you will see it refuses to do so. And you see it works normally for others. And you can see the different response. As you can see, the avatar embed is different for users in user's immunity list as compared to others. Wrong suffix, my bad. As you see, the embed difference is visible, which indicates how one is superior than other. You can change the bot's activity anytime, but it may take up to 7 seconds, thanks to Discord being Discord. Now to turn the bot off, you need to disable optimization switch, then you can press quit. It may take up to 1-3 to three minutes in order for the bot to appear offline, but once you've pressed quit, the bot is offline. There, no response indicating it's offline. You can download this app for free from the links in the description and join our Discord server for help. Hope you like it and had fun. Your review will be appreciated.